code soupe. Hello everybody, I'm Miss Man Man. Welcome to my channel. Today we are on another vintage cooking adventure. And in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day, we will be making a leek and potato soup from 1958. I found this recipe from the April edition of The New Idea from 1958. And even though it is an Easter themed magazine that's completely falling apart, the soup sounds absolutely delicious and I really love me a good bowl of soup. It's just super comforting. Even though it is still blistering hot outside, let's make some soup. Before we do anything, of course, it's time for aprons on. Okay, so I have gone ahead and prepped all the veggies. We have, the recipe says three leeks, but for some reason the leeks around my area are absolutely tiny, so I have five small leeks. I mean, come on, look at that. That's not a large leek. And I have already peeled and sliced up my four potatoes because I don't really need 25 minutes of me peeling potato footage. Again, let's head over to the stove. To start, we are going to melt one tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna do everything inside my French oven. And then I'm gonna add my leeks. Now the recipe said to chop up most of the green leek tops, so that is why there is so much in my pan. I cooked down my leeks for a few minutes until they were soft. And when I was happy with them, I added my potatoes. With my potatoes, I added some salt and enough water to cover. Now I did cheat a little bit and add a dash of chicken stock powder just because I've been finding a lot of vegetables lately it just have had very little flavor and I just wanted to oomph up my recipe a little bit more. I also added some pepper. I let everything simmer down for a few minutes and when it was sufficiently nice and soft and delicious Instead of mashing my whole mixture with a fork, I embraced modern technology and used my whiz stick. I only use the low setting because Brian's been a bit anxious and she doesn't like loud, sharp noises. So I did the best I could. Because the recipe originally said to mash everything, I figured it wanted it a little bit more on the chunky side as opposed to a perfect puree. So I left a little bit of chunk. The final thing I needed was to add two tablespoons of butter, which I mixed in, and then I poured it into a bowl and she was ready. Now the recipe does say to spoon your soup over squashy toast. And I have no idea what squashy toast is. Do they just mean like a really crispy outer loaf that's soft in the middle? If you do know, please let me know. I did Google squashy toast and found a lot of recipes of squash on toast. Some of which will look delicious, gotta say. But I will just be having it plain because believe it or not, there was no bread at my local store. So fun times. Here is my finished leek and potato soup. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look that attractive, but let's give it a go. Okay. Compared to how I normally make my leek and potato soup, I think I like my version better. I cook mine with chicken stock. I add in herbs such as a bay leaf and some thyme. I just add a little bit of cream at the end just to bind everything and I really, really blitz it. I feel like this is a little bit bland. It's just not hitting the spot I wanted to. Does that mean it's bad? No, no it doesn't, but it is not what I wanted it to be. She's also really thick with two C's. Thick. 
Well, that is it for another vintage cooking adventure. I'm so glad you could spend some time with me and embark on a journey of leek and potato soup deliciousness. I mean, I say deliciousness quite loosely there. I will have the full recipe and some photos on my blog, which will be linked in the description box below, as well as any of my social media if you'd like to follow me on any of my accounts. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am loving seeing all the growth and all your comments come in. I will try to get better at replying. I will see you guys all next week with a brand new video, but until then, be kind, be true, be you, and have a beautiful week. Bye! You are not the soup of my dreams.